Concerns about how your money is spent. Yeah, 2016 audit revealed nearly a million dollars was paid out in overtime at Roanoke City Public Schools. And three years later, that number's been cut down, but not as much as some would have liked. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett explains where the district is falling short and what parents have to say about the findings. Courtney Lafon is moving to Roanoke in April and getting ready to send her seven-year-old son to school in the city. But she's worried about how the school district spends its money. I'm pretty nervous and I might uh, make the commute to let him finish out in Salem and then switch him next year. A 2016 audit revealed the district spent more than $900,000 in overtime between July 2013 and December 2015. That's a lot of money. Thursday, the school audit committee met to discuss a follow-up report released in January. Overtime expenses dropped to about $335,000 for fiscal year 2018, the lowest in four years. Overtime dropped more than $100,000 between fiscal year 15 and 16 combined, compared to 2017 and 18. But the report says school officials have not followed up on their plans to approve and monitor scheduled and unplanned overtime. We don't completely have our arms around uh, how much overtime is appropriate, and we need to follow up on that. Municipal Auditor Drew Harmon says the problem is record keeping and understaffing. You know, if you have a two person staff at an elementary school and one of them is out sick with the flu, then you've got overtime. With no cap on overtime costs and rising taxes, LaFon says the schools need to take a closer look at where their money is going and instead spend it on the kids. I mean, a student can't come and do their best if they're struggling with getting a home and eating alone. Moving forward, the district says it will monitor and record overtime expenses and potentially hire additional employees. In Roanoke, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.